And I did a Google search on this and these are definitely a bolo. And this Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Welcome, everyone. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. Sometimes Etsy. I have a few things over there. Uh, probably a platform I should branch out to more if I had time. So if you're not selling on Etsy, maybe, maybe if you have vintage items, think about that platform. All right, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to talk to you today about my Poshmark sales. and when I share these with you, just keep in mind that I do sell clothing on Poshmark, but I don't share my uh, clothing bolo items, be on the lookout items with you. And the reason is, is because I really don't consider them items that I'm on the lookout for. So a lot of my clothing items I picked up at discount stores and you can't really get them anymore or they're discontinued. So I'm not up on the current styles or anything like that with clothing anymore because I've kind of stopped selling it. So in this video, we are going to focus on hard goods. And if you don't know, you can sell hard goods on Poshmark. And let's start with the first one, yarn. Did you know that you can sell yarn on Poshmark? So I got a whole bunch of vintage, discontinued, no longer made yarn looks like this, from an estate sale. It was an, a living estate sale, and I bought all of their crafts and stuff, arts and crafts stuff. So what I will bring to your attention here is there is a color and a dye lot, and all of the ones that I had, those matched. So if you have a listing of yarn and the dye lot and the color match, I would include that in your photo because I, I really don't understand how yarn works. And maybe if you guys sell yarn, you can fill me in. But what I would think is if it's in the same dye lot, the color is going to be exact. Would that be correct? And if it's a different dye lot, maybe it could be a little bit different. Am I right? Is that, am I assuming correctly or am I totally wrong in that? You guys that sell crafts, let me know. And it seems so vintage. If you're watching, I'm sure you can answer that question. If you guys are not following Seems So Vintage over on Whatnot, definitely give her a follow. She sells arts and crafts over there, and she has some really nice stuff So uh, for great prices. But anyway, I sold this yarn for $15. This is a Fisher Price Loving Family dollhouse, and I've got it set up in this cute little setup so you get all of the items seen in the picture. Sold this for $23 and on Poshmark, the buyer pays shipping. Now, if you send out an offer, it also gives them discounted shipping. So keep that in mind if you are sending out offers and take that into consideration when you are making your offer. Now, my main platform is eBay. So I list everything on eBay first and then I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. Now, what I will tell you is, the better way to do it is to go directly into the List Perfectly catalog and cross post to multiple platforms because they now have the D list option available, which I can't use the way I do it. Um, but if I want to use that, I'm going to have to get my items into the List Perfectly catalog. So D list is now available and they have the Pro Plus plan available. So go check it out. Um, right now, you if you have the Pro plan, you can get into the Pro Plus plan at the same price. And that is a limited time offer. So definitely check that out, you guys. But List Perfectly has lots of updates. So if you're not already on List, sorry, if you're not already on List Perfectly and you would like to learn more about it, I do have a tutorial demo video down in the description. It is an older video, so the new updates are not there but it gives you kind of a basis of using the catalog versus just um, cross-posting from platform to platform. So check that out. If you like what you see and you'd like to try List Perfectly, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that would get you 30% off your first month. So I've been using List Perfectly since 2019. Um, I love it. So um, I like to share it with you guys because I feel like it's something you can use to help grow your business. And this is Lego Creationary Replacement Building Blocks. And if I remember correctly, um, I got these at the Goodwill bins and this sold fastest on 
Poshmark. So that's one thing you're going to notice. These items are cross-posted to the other platforms and these sold faster on Poshmark. So there was a Lego creationary set at the Goodwill bins and I parted it out. That's really a hard word to say. Parted it out. <laughs> I decided to part it out. How about that? And these were the miscellaneous pieces. $17 buyer paid shipping. This is the night before Christmas cloth fabric children's book. And it does have cosmetic issues. So it's got some discoloration and some staining and some different issues. So it's okay to list things that have issues. People will still buy them. I sold this for $10, which on Poshmark, you know, by the time they took fees, not probably a great pickup, but I got it at the Goodwill bin. So my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. This is a Hallmark Solo in the Spotlight Barbie ornament. If I remember correctly, this came from a garage sale. I think I paid a dollar or so for it. Sold it for $12 plus shipping. Now this one, oh my goodness, check out this beauty. Now it is a Cabana Sign 925 Enamel Tropical Fish Necklace. And I did a Google search on this. And these are definitely a bolo. And this sold pretty quickly. So a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. If you want to learn about more bolo items, I feature people from my Facebook group, my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, come join it. And they share their bolos. And it can be on Poshmark, Mercari, uh, Depop, eBay, wherever you sell, you can share your bolo. And then I share it in a video. So if you want to learn about things that are selling for big money, you can check out uh, those videos on my channel. And if you want to share to be a part of the video, you can come over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group and it's under the featured section. But this sold for $250, highly collectible. So uh, do a search on eBay for Cabana signed uh, tropical fish or something like that. But this sold faster on Poshmark. Here is another ornament, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe, 1998, sold for $11. Probably, I'm going to say maybe I got this at a garage sale. Usually pay a dollar or less for these. This is a vintage Sarah Coventry letter H initial monogram gold tone bamboo pin. And I don't even remember where I got this. I've had this listed a long time. Um, now I bring all of my jewelry over to, well, almost all of it over to Whatnot. And I sell it auction style on that platform. So Whatnot is an awesome platform. I'm loving it. I take jewelry and I dump bags of it out and I do untanglings and I grab and sell and I start everything at $5 or less. And then you guys in the chat bid on the items. So if you want to come join me on Whatnot and check out a show, I am Bolo Buddies over there. If you're not already on there, um, you can use my referral link that's down in the description of the video and you can get $15 to shop. So check that out. These are bobby pins. I sold these for seven and I also do hair accessories. I have shows on hair accessories and believe it or not, they are really successful shows. I find some really beautiful hair things that look like jewelry. So super fun. This is a 1994 Precious Moments porcelain plate. Sold this one for 10. So a lot of bread and butter in this video. But, um, you know, you got some big money too. Like these. Vintage GES VW Gesh. I don't know how to say it. Metal. There, It's a skein man. Here's what the backs look like. And I either got these at the Goodwill bins or a thrift store. Had a dollar or less in them and sold them for $48 plus shipping. This is a mini Pac-Man handheld game. Do you guys remember Pac-Man? Uh, it's vintage. I sold this for $21 and I think I got that at a garage sale for a buck or two. This is a PAI basket pendant on chain. Another item that has been listed for a really, really long time. But one thing I always say in my videos is I list it and I forget it. And a lot of times items will sell. I mean, this has probably been listed, oh goodness, two, three years maybe. And it sold. So $15 on that. This is a baby's first lovey bear and board book. And I believe I picked this up at a discount store, um, Gabriel Brothers. I used to go into Gabriel Brothers all the time and um, I would buy clothing. And every once in a while I would go into the different, like the toy department or the books and pick up different things that were on clearance. So I sold this for $12 plus shipping. 
And it has this cute little, I think it's a puppet or maybe it's a lovey. I don't know. It's something. Uh, but I probably paid a dollar or two for that. So not huge margins, but I flipped it. Uh, Mercari is also a good place to put your books. So, but this one sold faster here on Poshmark. This is a Hallmark ornament. It's patriotic, new old stock. I should have put bear in the title. That would have been smart. Uh, but I sold this for $12. I usually pick up my ornaments anywhere from 50 cents to a buck. And I did a Hallmark video on certain Hallmark ornaments that sell for crazy money. When I say crazy money, you guys are not going to believe it. So definitely go and check out that video. Hallmark ornaments, Bolo Buddies in the YouTube. Crazy, crazy, crazy what some of these sell for, but there's something you need to be looking for when you're looking for Hallmark ornaments. So check out that video, find out what it is. Let me know in the comments of that video if you knew about that bolo. A lot of people said they didn't know about it and I definitely didn't know about it. I was doing a category video where I do a deep dive search on bolo items in particular categories. So I've got one like on brooches, I've got vintage necklaces, clip-on earrings, jelly cat plush. Um, uh, what is the glitter eye? Um, the Beanie Boos, uh, Build-A-Bear. Did you know that Build-A-Bear sometimes sell for way more money on Mercari than they do on eBay? It's crazy. So check out that video, all kinds of category videos. There's actually a playlist that says category bolo videos. So check that out. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you don't sell on Poshmark and this has you thinking about it, I do have a link down below. It is an um, affiliate referral. I don't know what you call it. It's one of those where you get $10 to shop and then I'll get $10 to shop once you buy something on the platform. I have a whole bunch of different things that I use for my business down below. Those are referral and affiliate links. Check them out if you feel like they might be useful for your business. I Most of them I have tutorials on, but like there's bubble wrap and bubble mailers, different things that I use that I feel like are a good deal and a good product. So if you guys want to check those out, um, those are things that I use in my business. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.